Hi everyone, I'm Jill Hobbs with my next video for Budley Crafts. The link for written instructions and products used is in the description box. Today I'm creating a strawberry sweetie box using Decoir Americana paints, a few basic tools and white card. Okay, let's get started. Lay the strawberry and leaf templates on the card. Carefully draw around them, including the holes. cut out the shapes on the lines and punch or cut out the holes. ruler, score and crease the fold lines on the strawberry. And this is from the centre point to the edge of the petal. Remember that your embossing tool is a little bit thicker than a pencil, so you may need to be a little bit further away than you think. A 
hold your ruler firmly and push down lightly and then with a little bit more pressure. And from centre holes to the leaf tips on the leaves. coating. Sponge each shape on both sides one at a time with appropriate colour. Dry and repeat if necessary to an opaque finish. The strawberry with primary red and the leaves with Hauser medium green. Now place your card onto paper tissue or paper towel or something. It is quite likely that it'll weep underneath. opaque. It's sort of got a little bit of different shading of red on here which I think is going to be okay. There's no white showing and that's the main thing although saying that there's white here but this will be underneath so I'm not too worried about that as long as you've got the crease actually painted. Right, time to do the other side. Now because this is inside rather than outside, I'm not going to worry too much. I might even just dip a, just to sort of hide all the extras. <laughs> Once you dry, just put those fold lines back in. Put 
strawberry done rinse out your sponge and paint both sides of your of your leaf template application of paint and it sort of gives a little bit of um, a mottled effect which is just good for leaves pop your sponge into your water and clean it later and just squeeze these to bring that crease back up the middle of the the leaf. And leave that to one side. Creating the strawberry seeds. Measure from the centre point up to the hole on each strawberry section and lightly pencil a small dash every two centimetres. Approximately halfway between the crease line and the line you've already created. Add more small dashes that are staggered between the first ones. Add more on the crease line plus a few more perhaps higher up. Strawberry, create teardrop shapes with the biggest end of the stylus. Now, if you're right handed, start this way and go that way. Obviously, if you're left handed, you would work that way. With deep burgundy, dip, dot, and drag the paint down to a point on each penciled mark. Dry thoroughly. Now, drag the paint, the stylus is not actually touching the card.
clean your stylus and get this thoroughly dry. You now dots always take longer to dry so be very careful. Although they might appear to be dry there's paint quite thick and underneath it could be still wet. smallest end of your stylus and Hauser medium green create smaller teardrops on top of the deep burgundy and dry thoroughly stick and cadmium yellow create tiny teardrops on top of the Hauser medium green and dry thoroughly. double-sided tape. Stick down the tab to the inside of the strawberry. So I've put on my double-sided tape. I've just loosened a little bit at one end. Oops. Didn't want to stay back. There it goes. Hold it in. Line up, before, line up the crease mark. Stick it, hold it, pull that one out, pull up and move it. And push it down. This green ribbon has come out of my stash box. And it's approximately one centimetre wide. Just going to fold it in half. And tie a knot. And the two cut ends. Level. I'm going to wrap in a little piece of sellotape don't want to come off Just to make it easier to thread through the holes. <laughs> Doesn't even want to come off my finger.
creating the box. Don't forget to pop in the sweeties before it is closed and remember that acrylic paint is not food safe and that the sweeties must be wrapped. Thread the ribbon through the holes from back to front on the first strawberry section. Doesn't matter where you start. Miss one section and thread up through the next section. So miss one, thread up, pull through, and these will sit one on top of the other. So I'm going to miss one, do one. Miss one. And a okay, it's nice and forward done. And I put my sweeties in. <clears throat> and tuck it until they're all sitting one on top of the other. Now I'm going to cut the sellotape off. And then tie a little knot to secure. And leave that to one side for a minute. The leaves. Using a liner brush and slightly thinned soft sage, paint the leaf veins. The centre one on the fold line and three side veins each side and dry. A little bit of water and a little bit of paint. Hold your brush and then do a few lines on the side. You can actually paint up and along that fold. And one, two, down one side. And one, two, three, down the other side. And I'm actually going to flatten this one a little bit so that you can actually see what I'm doing. Brush mix Hauser Medium Green and Primary Red to a dark green browny colour. Paint the shadows on the veins and dry. So a little bit of water. A little bit of green. And a touch of red. And it's a little bit too brown. I'm going to put a little bit more green in. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. So it's low neck on two green. That's better. If it doesn't show up, I'll put another little bit of red in. Now I've brushed mix with this one. There's quite a lot of paint in here. So I'm going to rinse this one out. And then load again. A couple of lines to get rid of the glove of paint. Right, so we're coming up the stem, up the vein, and along the bottom of that side vein. Into the fork where they they join up the vein. And along the bottom of the side one. Up with the join, up, up the centre vein, and along the bottom of the side one. And up the centre vein to the right. I'm going to try and zoom in on that. So we're coming up centre vein and underneath that side one back to the centre vein whoops that's the boiler kicking in and underneath that side vein just like this a little bit up and along side paint a line on the top edge of each side vein and dry. brush with soft sage and then rub off most of the paint. Just try it on your finger. If it shows a bit wet, rub off a bit more. Dry brush with a light touch between the veins. brush, pick up a little bit of cadmium yellow, as before rub most of it off, and 
and randomly dry brush over the soft sage and dry thoroughly. Once again, sellotape the ribbon ends to help um, pushing through the holes. So this is one end at a time. them back to front. One through one hole. Oops, I should put the right one in the right hole. Make sure you can see what I'm doing. Put that one as well. sitting nice and flush on your box now we're going to just keep tying knots until we've made a stem whoops come here oh, we don't want to come through right. so one to keep them nice and tight and keep going one on top of the other About two centimetres long. And I'm going to push this ribbon back down through those holes again. It's a bit fiddly. And we've got a little green stem. So cut your ribbon, not too tight, but so that you can't see it. I've had a lot of fun painting these boxes. I've tried True Red, which I thought was a bit too bright. 
and a white one which my daughter thought was a bit weird even though they do exist and in true Goldilocks style I think the primary red is just right. Have fun with paint and card and until next time happy painting! This is just a piece of ribbon that I've had in the, um, no, never mind.